In South Carolina, one man loves his women big, beautiful, and growing bigger every day. Justin, also known as Jar, has never had a girlfriend who's smaller than him. I've always been into bigger women from the time that, you know, my hormones or whatever started kicking in, you know, I started getting interested in females. I already got bottom heavy plus size women, you got top heavy plus size women, you got proportionate all over plus size women. I probably wouldn't date like a Halle Berry or Beyonce type chick, you know. So Beyonce and Halle Berry aren't welcome in Justin's bed, but his girlfriend Lou ticks his boxes in a really big way. The couple recently welcomed baby Gianni, but she's not the only addition to the family. I tried monogamy for a while. It didn't really go so well for me because I like to, you know, I'm a flirty type of guy. So I met Shane and uh, Lou on a social media site. I love his personality, the way he looks, of course. Of course, you say that. Uh, the way he treats me. Justin is now polyamorous with both Lou and Shan. I wasn't with the whole polyamorous stuff, but then after me and Lou met, it just made it even better. When I first met Shan, I instantly felt like a connection. Having been poly together for just under a year now, they're used to a fuller house. What makes this relationship work for me, I would say, a lot of communication. Get deep on the bay. Get deep on the bay. Like, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> if it's like two people talking, or you know, it's, it, it will always be a problem because no communication with all three of you guys. The rules of the relationship are basically, you know, like I said, don't hide anything. You know, always be upfront. And our relationship is just strictly one male and females. Most people got the misconception that in this type of relationship, the women are submissive. That's a lie. They are not. What annoys you two about John? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, hey, 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 I can answer that. I can I answer that. I was waiting on this question. Ah. John said his clothes. Man, I take the book out. Man. He gonna wash dishes. He gonna cook dinner. Justin is a mess, OK? I'm, a whole, whole mess. Throw out here. can see. Throw out, throw out whole away. mess out here in these streets. Justin is a lot to take in, but I'm a lot to take in, so it's OK. Just an overall person go. is always it's always fun. Everybody laughing. Even if you're trying to be mad, you still gonna laugh. Fortunately for Justin, the women find him so entertaining, they spend a lot of time in his company. We do everything together, basically. No personal space. That's what I love about y'all. I'm comfortable enough to be on the toilet, and y'all come in, and I'm <laughs> on the toilet. You know what I'm saying? Personal space in the bathroom is one thing, but how does it work in the bedroom? Thanks. As far as our sexual life, I mean, Chan's also my girlfriend. You know, I like females, so, you know, sometimes we have sex together. Sometimes me and Justin will go off, or Shannon and Justin will go off. Sometimes However we feel. Like, a lot of times yeah, it's all three of us. Yeah, yeah, a lot of times it's just all three of us, but it's just however that person feels at that moment. <laughs> we all share the same bed. <laughs> Justin sleeps in the middle. We sleep in the end, so it's like... What is it, Lou? A sandwich. Two oh, what? It's a, it's a hot dog in the middle of a bun. Two, bun. Two big buns. So Lou and Shan enjoy sex with each other as well as their man. And while three in a bed might be a squeeze for this trio, for Justin, it's a supersized order he prefers. I enjoy getting squashed. Squashing is like face sitting or you know like you know sitting on my body and putting their weight on my body. Like squashing, like when you sit on somebody. Justin gets off on being sat on. Yeah, I lay like this down, I lay down by the booty. And far from being satisfied with Lou and Shan's current size, he's even become their feeder, meaning he helps them to gain weight. You got your wings, babe. That's how you know you're fat when you got your wings, babe. Let me see, Lou, you got your wings. There you do. Don't try to tense it up. Don't try to make a muscle. The bigger they get, the less Justin can keep his hands off them. I'm just an encourager, just probably like, like a coach. Almost. I want them to get bigger, but I don't want them to get bigger than risk of their health. It's all about building up, taking your time, being patient. All this is for you and Lou. It just was uh, something new, and it was very taboo to me, so I had to really do my research. I'm OK with getting bigger, because I know that he'll take care of me. I'm always open to, you know, meeting, meeting new people. If I'm interested in a woman, and I think it's going to go far, then, you know, I, I'll bring it up. But will Justin get a grilling when he reveals he wants to order up an extra serving and add a fourth person to the relationship? Three is enough. We good. <laughs> Extreme love. You've never seen love like this before.
on WeTV.